61-year-old paddler Ni Xialian is the oldest athlete competing in table tennis at the Paris Games. Her decades-long career, marked by countless twists, victories and challenges, has made her a beacon of resilience and inspiration for many transcending age and nationality. As she stepped onto the Olympic stage once again, people marveled at her genuine joy, passion and sportsmanship, or should I say sportswomanship here. What has kept her moving? forward all these years? What is her secret to staying energetic and passionate about the sport? And what does she say about the so-called controversies surrounding the cleaners of Chinese athletes? Join us from Paris was Li Xia Lian, a Chinese-born Luxembourgeois table tennis player. Ni Xia Lian for joining us and welcome to The Point. Uh, for all of those who have not heard about your incredible life story, you made the national team in 1979. You captured two gold medals at the 1983 World Championships in Tokyo. Then you left the team in 1986 to study abroad and eventually you settled in Luxembourg in 1990. And your Olympic debut came in 2000 in Sydney. So this is your sixth Olympic appearance. And this time you were the flag bearer for the Luxembourg national team for the opening ceremony. Now that all of your competition events are over, how would you compare your experience in Paris with your previous ex participation in the Olympic Games? Um, from the result, I'm very happy with my performance. Uh, although we cannot against the nature, um, the, uh, physically not as strong as before, but I think this time I am played the smart and um, also uh, uh, performance is as good I, as I wished and I overcome some problem and uh, I got to win the first game and that's very, very important. Um, so I'm very happy this, this Olympic result. This means uh, similar as before. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're very happy. Congratulations. Now, one of the things that we noticed here in China is that although you represented Luxembourg, you also helped the Chinese women's table tennis team prepare for the game by serving as a sparring partner. How come? Tell us that story, because it's quite unusual, right, for one national team to help another team prepare for the Olympic Games. In the our sport, before the game, we always ask different partner for have training. Um, so this is not an usual situation. But this time, the situation is because second day I must play swinging sides for the single. And uh, but another hand, I um, grew up in China. I have so much feeling with China and uh, also Chinese team helping me become world champion and such appreciation. I think I always in my heart and this time I'm happy or honored to have such opportunity to return, return Chinese team and also return for China, which is my motherland. Uh, I think I'm very honored and happily. Um. Just as a follow-up, because some people you just mentioned you were born in China and uh, you played for China and then you migrated to Luxembourg. So in terms of uh, identity, how do you see yourself? Uh, do you see yourself as a Luxembourg player, a Chinese player, or an, just a ping-pong player that, has, um, that transcends national boundaries? I think I born in China. I grew up in China. I left China. Uh, when I was 26. 26 years is not short time. And also I have such a uh, wonderful experience in China and China always is my motherland. It's normal. I such experience, unforgettable. And also will never change. And I appreciate China give me so much knowledge, especially in table tennis. And such knowledge, it's not me 
alone, only I fighting, you will, you will not get it. So, so many people helped me and uh, such experience and uh, I'm the lucky one. I'm the beneficiary one. So I think I'm happy to uh, helping the other people if it's possible. And uh, luckily I went to Luxembourg and they are also so nice country, nice people. And we are cooperating very well. And now I'm already 34 years living in Luxembourg. My two children born there. Um, also, um, I have very good feeling and contact with the people. And um, uh, I'm very uh, enjoy my life. And also, I feel if I'm behind the Chinese to helping the other country, I call this is international spirit. So you played against the player you helped train, Sun Yingsha, who is only 23 year old. And uh, Sun Yingsha is extremely fo tough. I mean, she's a great player. Um, you lost the game, but you didn't seem to be too upset about it. Quite the opposite, really. You seem to be very relaxed. You were enjoying the match. Help those who do not know the story understand your feelings, please. Uh, Sun Sa is number one in the world. So although I try so hard, it's so difficult for me to beat her. And so I, I am enjoying her performance. I also enjoy my game because I tried everything. And I'm very appreciated I have such chance to play against her. And uh, the result is not only winning, it's the everything. So I think I'm happy my results like that um i congratulation for her have such performance and uh, an excellent player do you know that the the fact that you were drinking cola in between the games you know when you had a moment you drank cola and she was drinking water or some kind of sports drinks that moment uh, went viral on the chinese social media are you aware of that Oh, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think people uh, love that? Uh, very, um, because the story back to Tokyo. And uh, um, people are so happy. And uh, I like to uh, enjoy this moment with everybody. I'm happy that people are happy. Good, that's good. So um, after the game, when you were leaving the stadium, you'd wave to the crowd, you were smiling, but you also had tears in your eyes. Um, were you being happy? Was those happy tears or sad tears? Or what would help us understand your emotions back then? Oh, of course, it's a happy tears. Very, very happy. I just very much moved by people and uh, also our conduct coming uh, from the stage to congratulating for me uh, and uh, I feel I'm so much beloved and such a feeling is wonderful and just wonderful yeah you're not only loved by the audience in the stadium but also on the social media uh, on the chinese social media platform you are known for your happy go lucky spirit um, on the chinese version of TikTok, for instance you we just checked you have over 1.7 million followers that's that's a million more than the population of luxembourg have you wondered why you're so much loved by the chinese people especially uh, on social media platforms I'm happy to have such a situation. People say I'm happy, they are happy. And if everybody is happy, I think the world is wonderful. I like to show um, the fighting spirit, and but also the enjoyness. I think winning and lose, we cannot change. But we try to make the game beautiful, happy, challenge exciting and uh, i'm born china chinese player in europe my image is like this and um, i want people happy from my behave and also another reason because of my age and the people maybe think old age is um, can 
might not be such happy, but I think why not? So I'm uh, appreciate the people like it. I just want also the positive energy for the people. You not only seem happy, you seem also to be in great shape. And、uh, you started playing table tennis at the age of seven, and after fifty-four years, is still going strong. And let's not forget, at the age of fifty-eight, you actually won a bronze medal at a World Table Tennis Championship. How do you make it? Yes, it's a wonderful experience.、Uh, as I said before, I went to Luxembourg. We have very good cooperation with the people and country and the team. I'm happy. I have opportunity to with Luxembourg younger girl、uh, as double partner、uh, to become gold bronze medal. And、uh, I think so many years in I mean Luxembourg, the children also see the. I know.、Um, they also see、uh, winning is possible. They got confidence, and they also got courage. Of course, cooperating with me, we have a lot of training, and we support each other. And、um, yeah, one day the hard work become result. It's wonderful. Finally.、Um- I'm sure you have read media reports about、uh, what's happening during this year's games, especially some of the so-called controversies regarding Chinese athletes, and it gives people the feeling that maybe sometimes they are not treated as fairly、uh, as they should be, especially the men's swimming team. I wonder,、uh, and you can refuse to answer this question if you don't want to.、Uh, what What are your feelings reading about these kind of reports, questioning their abilities, their ethics? And、uh, if you have any comments you want to make here, of course, no problem.、Um, uh, sometimes I can say life is not fair, and、uh, especially East and West, we still have different mentality, different lifestyle, different way of thinking. This means we see the situation, we understand differently. So. We might be misunderstand, or some people always don't like you. Some people love you. I think this is normal. We don't need too much worry about.、Uh, most important, we tried our best ourselves. That's important, and、um, uh, I'm happy.、Uh, I have this opportunity. Born in China, Chinese, living in Europe, and to show. Chinese way, we say 格局我不知道格局这句话怎么说哈，就是说，我觉 I mean, and let the West world to see the Chinese how they behave, from don't understand to understand and to appreciate it. So this is we need the time to exchange to understand each other. I think we don't need to worry too much, but we need the time to let West world to know our、uh, fighting spirit, our goal, or our our,、um, our lifestyle. Yeah. Great, great, and uh, finally, um, after this Olympics, will these be your last Olympic Games? We ever consider retiring? <laughs> Uh, honestly, three years ago, after the Tokyo, Tokyo, I'm not sure if I can be here. So finally, I'm in here. So the door always open, but the nature we cannot against.、Uh, what I can do, I will try my best to make it happen. But never know. We never say never. But I have to、um, take care of myself. Not a lot injury and sick,、um, but、uh, yeah. Let let's say waiting and see.